using technology, of course, there are going to be little technological challenges that take place ever so often. So the first video that I was doing on this story um, actually got cut off. So take two. Um, for those of you who know me, my name is Aaron George, and I am an outreach officer with Childline. Um, this is the second time I'm doing this video for the morning <laughs> because technology and its challenges sometimes uh, it doesn't go the way that you want it to go all the time. Um, but nonetheless, uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning at, for our third story in the web series of storytelling as part of Childline's outreach activities um, during this COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, let's jump straight into the story for today. Uh, and the name of the story that I chose for today is The Weight of the Glass. And I chose this story because I felt that the message in it was very applicable to both parents and children. And I think that any one could listen to the story and recognize that there may be one thing in their life that they're holding on to or they're just not allowing themselves to let go of. And because of that, they may have put themselves in an unfortunate position or they may be keeping themselves back from accomplishing their goals. So this is a little story to possibly help put things into perspective and help you recognize that, you know what, maybe what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling or what I'm about to do may not necessarily be aligned with the goals that I set for myself. Um, and maybe it's about time that I start letting go some of the negative things that are weighing me down so that I could focus on the positive. So for those of you who know, don't know, I have a psychology background. Um, I'm currently doing my master's in applied psychology. And uh, uh, in this story, it was a psych teacher who taught the lesson. So once upon a time, a psychology professor was teaching a lesson that her students was gonna, would, was, would never be able to forget. So on the last day of class before graduation, she walked up on stage to teach one final lesson, which she called a vital lesson on the power of perspective and mindset. Yeah. So as she raised a glass of water over her head, everyone expected her to mention the typical metaphor, is the glass half empty or is the glass half full? Yeah. But instead, with a smile on her face, our professor asked, how heavy is this glass that I'm holding? So students in the audience started shouting out answers which range from a couple ounces to a couple pounds. After a few moments of, of taking answers and nodding her head, she replied, from my perspective, the absolute weight of this glass is irrelevant. It all depends on how long I hold it. So if I hold it for a minute or two, it's fairly light. If I hold it for an hour straight, its weight might start to make my arm ache a little. If I hold it for a day straight, my arm is likely to cramp up and feel completely numb and paralyzed, forcing me to drop the glass to the floor. In each case, however, the absolute weight of the glass doesn't change. But the longer you hold it, the heavier it will feel to me. So, what was our lesson? As most of us students nodded and we agreed and yes, she said, your worries and your frustrations, your disappointments, your stressful thoughts, your challenging moments are very much like this glass of water. So students were a little confused and she said, think about them for a little while and nothing drastic is going to happen. Think about them a bit longer and you may begin to notice the pain. But if you think about them all day, you will feel completely numb and paralyzed and you will be incapable of doing anything else until you drop the glass and it shatters to the floor. Keeping in mind, keeping in mind that you are also responsible for cleaning up the mess that is made. So, the end story essentially is a very important lesson that things will happen on a daily basis you might not get the food that you wanted today you may have lost your job you may not be able to go to school or see your friends um 
maybe being stuck at home, you're getting into a lot of fights with your brothers or your cousins or your parents, and all of that is normal. But what's important is that sometimes we have to let go of those challenges that we're actually experiencing, and we need to tell ourselves, you know what? Enough is enough with this. It's time that I do something that is a little more positive or something that could actually help in terms of managing managing your expectations on a daily basis. Um, because sometimes we set ourselves up for failure because we have these grand expectations or these grand hopes that you know what, this is gonna happen by this time and it must be this way and it will happen this way and life looks at us and say, nope, that's not gonna happen. And you have to be able to say, you know what? That's okay. That's okay if it doesn't work out today, I'm still going to try and maybe tomorrow, but don't give up and try your very best to let go of the negative things that weigh you down on a daily basis. Because when you give in to the negatives, you're also telling the universe, all right, I don't have time with the positives. I'll focus on the negatives and not the positives. So please always remember, it's not the absolute weight or the absolute size or mass of the challenges that you're experiencing. It's all about how long you decide to let that affect your life. So that is today's story. Um, so I want to thank the people who are viewing for viewing and persons who will see it after the fact. Um, please continue to share our videos, uh, visit our Facebook page, Childline TT, and we also have our Instagram and our Twitter accounts that are available, um, Childline underscore TT. Uh, check them out. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Feel free to check out our website, which is Childline TT dot org and we have a live chat feature on the website so for young persons who may not really be interested in using the helpline where you could call and receive assistance um this is another avenue for you where you can message and receive assistance from a trained professional um we also have the helpline as mentioned uh which is available 24 7. it is tool free the two phone numbers that you could use to get in contact with us 131 or 8004321. Call us. Let one of the listeners speak. Let them guide you through any of the challenges that you're having. And always, always, always remember that Chiline is there to assist you all in any way possible. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Um, and please have a wonderful, wonderful day.